Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're gonna look at taking the batteries out of your Kylo Ren lightsaber. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. Uh, previously on the channel, we did an unboxing. This is the Force FX Black Series Kylo Ren lightsaber. Uh, did a whole walkthrough, so if you wanna see the lightsaber in its unboxing action, uh, you can go check out that video. But uh, in that video, I did not talk to you about how to remove the batteries. And so a couple things here. Uh, my kids have the Galaxy's Edge lightsabers, okay? And I have the Black Series. And they even asked me, they said, hey, how come you didn't get a Galaxy's Edge lightsaber? I said, well, because I really wanted Kylo Ren's. And uh, I like the fact that the batteries are so much easier to take out. If you have one of the uh, Galaxy's Edge savers, you know there's a little bit more involved with taking the batteries out. And I always encourage my kids uh, to take the batteries out of theirs. I know it's really easy to leave our batteries in and then sometimes we forget about them. But uh, a good rule of thumb is if you're not going to touch it for, let's say, two months, all right, you should really go and pull the batteries out. Reason is because unused batteries will have a tendency to age and corrode over time, and you really don't want to ruin your, you know, several hundred dollar lightsaber. So if you're not using it, right, if you're not actively using it on a regular basis, I would take the batteries out, okay? It's going to be so much better in the long run. A uh, couple things. If you have the stand, you might remember there was a little coin in the stand that you could uh, store right there. You can pop that out and use that on the end where that little slot is, but I don't even need to. You can just grab it. That's See, this is why I love this saber. It's this easy. So if you're jealous right now, uh, it's because you have the Galaxy's Edge lightsaber. So no tool to take the battery compartment out. There it is. That is it. That was the whole tutorial, kids. <laughs> so there's my batteries. All I gotta do now is pop them out and then I can put them back at a later date. But I, I've been keeping this on the shelf since Halloween and literally have been leaving the batteries in since Halloween, since October, and I, I haven't changed it out. So that is bad. The only other thing you gotta do, you gotta line the little holes up right there with the holes that are down there. And there's a little, there's like a V slot right here. It's like a V shaped slot. You just wanna make sure that slides back in in the same spot. And then you can just screw this back on. And now it's safe to store because you've uh, taken the batteries out. Let this be a reminder to everybody, okay? This is your reminder. Take the batteries out of your lightsaber or any of your Star Wars items or anything you have valuable that's just sitting up there and you're not touching it. Take the batteries out, kids. It's gonna make your electronics last a long time. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, storage. Some people, uh, of course, have the stands, and that's a good way to, to store it. But if you like storing them on the wall, or you've seen people store them on the wall, especially the Galaxy's Edge Sabers, they have the long, you know, the blade, and they store it uh, mounted. Here's what they're using. They're using this. So this is something you can pick up on Amazon. I think they come in packs of three, which is why I have an extra one. Uh, but this is what you would put in your garage to store a broom. So you'd clip a broom right in there, right? And I'll show you some pictures of my kids' sabers stored in their room. And you'd think it would slide right out, but it does not. So make sure you test it first, right? Put it up on the wall about where it's going to be, kind of then make a pencil line just about there, and then drill your holes, and then slap your blade on, and it's a nice safe place. Again, we're talking about safety. Having it up on the wall is great because then it's not going to fall over. No one's going to accidentally fall into it or step on it. The blade's not going to snap. Keeping it up off the ground like that is a nice safe place. So this is a really cheap investment, super cheap investment, you know, and you get a couple of these, you can put all your sabers up on the wall. It's a nice, uh, this makes for a nice display for a Star Wars room and it keeps that uh, lightsaber out where everyone can see it instead of storing it in the black, black, the black bag that comes from Galaxy's Edge. So if you don't have a stand like I do, I keep mine on the stand and I keep my blades in the box. But if I, if I didn't, I would throw it on the wall with this. So that was my quick lightsaber tutorial. 
for you guys and uh, keep coming back for more Star Wars content. May the Force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.